Hidden deep underwater through a mysterious passage in the hollow earth, we are shown the radioactive ancient lair of Godzilla in 2019's King of the Monsters. We see ships and architecture from countless cultures that ended their voyage here, as well as the skeleton of Anguirus. However, a real-world connection made by director Mike Doherty makes the design of Godzilla's lair even more interesting. During a Q&A on Twitter, the director shared a link documenting the discovery of underwater ruins off the coast of Yonaguni, Japan. While archaeologists and seismologists debate the origins and composition of the ruins, it appears to the average person to be the work of humans that is now submerged. Doherty used this piece of history as inspiration for the design of Godzilla's ancient lair. Aside from serving as the design, the director honored the legacy of Godzilla and Japan by stating, quote, I like the idea that this was the civilization that first made contact with Godzilla, end quote. The Godzilla franchise has never shied away from historical ties and storytelling, and it is good to see that this is alive and well today with the MonsterVerse. With close proximity to Okinawa, is it possible to see a bond set up to King Caesar in the MonsterVerse? It is a natural and simple link to these ruins and the mystical protector of the Azumi family. Maybe we can see this mysterious civilization in a future project.